What's up YouTube? I'm the Merc Place and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I want to show you how you can become the best hell diver you can be. In this video, I will share some tips that will do just that. Tip number one, there are many mechanics the game doesn't tell you. For instance, medals, super credits, and requisitions can be found in bunkers, containers, and beacon locations. Bunkers will require an additional Helldiver to help you open. Containers, the orange or the blue, can be opened with a grenade or a grenade launcher hit. To find these locations, make sure you check out every question mark that pops up in your compass. But the best way to find these locations is to come across a radar station. Completing this objective will reveal all treasures and points of interest on the map. Tip number two. Make sure you pick the right armor that fits your playstyle. Light armor can provide more stamina and speed for your Helldiver, but be aware that you'll be sacrificing armor rating. Combine the light armor with a stamina boost to make it even better. Medium armor, in my opinion, is the best all-round armor in the game, with a good armor rating, speed, and stamina. Heavy armor is the slowest of the three, but it's the armor that can take the most damage. Perfect for those close combat players out there who like using shotguns or flamethrowers. <laughs> Tip number three, stratagems. Be sure to pick the right stratagem best fit for the missions. For example, eagle stratagems are great for clearing out nests or destroying automation outposts, aka the terminators. Orbitals have the largest AOE in the game but be aware it kills more friendly teammates than any stratagem in the game, but are fantastic at killing a large pack of enemies. Turrets are crucial in any defense mission, just make sure you place them in key locations. And as a bonus and final tip, be sure to carry a turret with any loadout you do for any mission. As you are aware, once you complete main objective, you must head to extraction. Extracting requires you to defend for two minutes. And if you've played the game, you're aware that it could get pretty dicey. So having a turret available at your side not only guarantees your safety, but your teammates as well for a safe extraction. Well, there you have it. How to be the best Helldiver in Helldivers 2. Let me know down in the comments below if these tips helped you in your missions and if you're enjoying Helldivers 2. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and always remember to level up in game and in real life. We'll see you guys on the next one. Well, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any feedback for me, please leave it in the comments below. And always remember to level up in-game and in real life. We'll see you guys soon.